Hey beautiful people, greetings everyone, how you all doing? I am doing well, I am extremely grateful to be graced with the opportunity for another day, another brand new week. This is Motivations and Memories, welcome back, welcome first time viewers, I am Iberico. This week guys, I want to speak to you about the three important sites. In order for us to operate in the know, we must understand our three sites. So the first site that we must understand and know is our hind sight. Hind sight speaks to where we came from, how we reached where we are now. It's about looking back on what we've been through the difficulties, the heartaches, the pains, but the lessons we learn, the experiences we gain, and certainly the blessings all that we got as we, you know, endured all the pains. However, hindsight is just for our, our reference. It is not the place. It should not be the place of our preference. You know, a lot of times we go through things and we just can't move on because we make, you know, the things that happened in hindsight, we make them as our place of preference. We, we, we refuse to move on and we have made it up in our minds that we're going to stay there. Psychologists would say that we become fixated. You don't want to move on. And so you live in that place of preference, that place of hurt. But that's not what it is all, all about. It ought to be a place where you refer. Yes, this is what I've been through, but I have let go. So in Philippians 3 and verse 13, Paul said to the brethren, I caught not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, I forget the things which are behind, the things in the hindsight, Paul says, I forget them. And I am reaching forth into things which are before. So he said, I press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. So if we're going to continue to hold on, we're really going to be stuck and some things are going to pass us by. The second sight is our foresight. This speaks to the future. Not being so much concerned with what we hear from, you know, human perspective or from even a prophet, but concerned about being careful that we are being led. Oh my God. Most importantly, that we are being led by the Holy Spirit. You see, being led by the Spirit of God will allow us to know what is to come. It, it, it will allow us to know where to go, where not to go, what to do and what not to do. So we'll be better able to focus on God's direction, we'll wait on him, we'll ensure that we listen to what he's saying so that we will we will know and we will not walk in, you know, obsession for self-gratification, but to please him. So Romans 8 and verse 29, again, Paul says, for those whom he foreknew, he also predestinated to be conformed to the image of his son. So we will be like him in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. So we use hindsight to reflect on the past. And we also must forgive if we need to. We also must be thankful and then move on. Foresight helps, to, helps us to understand what to do and how to do them. But the third sight is or insight and this is one sight that we can't we can't do, do without any of them but we really need insight because that speaks to the now it indicates how we navigate today how we navigate tonight and right now ephesians 1 verse 17 to 18 paul again says 
I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation. We're talking about now. We need the spirit of wisdom in order to survive now. We need a spirit of wisdom in order to grant us revelation so that our eyes will be open so that we may know him better. He went on to say, I pray that the eyes of your heart be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you, the riches of his glorious inheritance in his holy people. You see, insight is what causes us to hold on even when we're going through difficulties because we're expecting that better is going to come. Insight is what we use to encourage ourselves. Right now, I'm feeling discouraged. I'm feeling hurt. I'm feeling pain. They, they, they mistreat me on the job. They gave somebody the promotion that rightfully belonged to me. My boss don't treat me good. I'm tired of, I'm so frustrated with, the, with, 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 with my company. I can't deal with my coworkers. I'm living in a community and I just want to go. I can't bother. Me tired, me fed up. I'm at church and I'm no longer comfortable. I'm not feel like say, this is where I want to be. But hindsight is going to allow us to pull back within ourselves and say, hey girl, hey guy, guess what? You see right now, you're feeling discourage but guess what you still need to pull on the strength of God so that you'll be able to navigate you can't stay at the place of discouragement you can't stay at this at the place of despair yeah they didn't give you the promo promotion but what you're going to you cannot stay at the place of of becoming unproductive because of that you have to navigate for later you have to navigate for tonight and so this week as I go out I look forward to use up my three sites and I encourage you to do the very same. Have yourselves a great week. Walk good and I will see you in the next motivation. Share this with somebody. Leave a comment. And if you did not yet subscribe, please remember to subscribe to Motivations and Memoirs. Bless up yourselves.